Hey everyone, this is Nana again from thealliancelover.com. I have another casual outfit idea video for you today. We are looking at soft gamines, and in particular, we are looking at Reese Witherspoon's style. I think she really, really does a wonderful job of honoring her body and her essence, her personality, and you can really see how she glows when she wears clothes that really reflect her very spunky, spirited, soft, youthful, and radiant nature. So that's what we will be covering today. Just to let you know, I do have my Instagram, The Aligns Lover, and I do have blog posts on thealignlover.com, and I do offer services. So feel free to check that out and don't forget to subscribe. So what is the soft means ideal wardrobe rules? So the soft gamine has a very petite but soft frame. They can have broad angularity. It's not gonna be very severe or extremely square, but there is just a bit of that broadness and that edge to them combined with shorter limbs, shorter vertical line, and softer flesh, you have someone who needs a lot of emphasis on their silhouette. They need a lot of waist emphasis. They need strategic nipping and tucking um, with their collars, their shoulder lines, the hems of any of their garments need to be quite accurate and their clothes need to fit quite close to their body so that they don't get lost in it. The soft gamine is pretty petite um, and since they tend to have shorter limbs and a bit more fleshiness, if they don't wear something that really honors their shape, they can get lost very, very easily or overwhelmed very easily and they lose the charm of their body. So. Let's look at what Reese does so successfully. So in this first set of photos, um, I think it's from the same campaign, she is wearing, first of all, so much wonderful color blocking. She uses color really, really well. She knows what color really pops on her, <clears throat> and she's not afraid to use it head to toe. Don't be afraid to use color from head to toe, especially if you're a gamine soft rounded edges, nothing sharp, nothing severe, but still something clean, something accurate. She has waist definition in all of these outfits. It might not be the tightest cinched in corset like effect, but there's definite waist emphasis through close fitting form and through color blocking, using different material, tucking in. There's many ways to emphasize your waist. Besides that, she has fun openings, voluminous openings in her various garments so that it's not too clingy, it's not too tight. There's a bit of pizzazz to it, whether it's the flare of the skirt or the flare of the sleeve or just the way that the symmetry or the top and bottom of the outfit is composed so that you get a very playful exaggerated hourglass. I don't want to say hourglass in the traditional sense. I mean, in this case, two triangles meeting in the middle. Um, they open up at the top, get very narrow, obviously, in the middle and open up again. And you can see this sort of shape in all of these outfits, whether it's exaggerated or subtle. So when you put all of these details together, you get something that's very fun, it's very bright. You get to see her charm and she doesn't get lost in any of these outfits. So speaking of not getting lost, let's look at how the soft gamine does get lost. So the soft gamine needs structure. So anything that's overly flowy, boxy, or too loose, too long will drag the soft gamine down. Minimal detail. They need some pizzazz. They need some fun, you know. So in this very leftmost outfit, very very minimal, and there's no real waist definition. The top is too long. Not enough sharp or strategic hemming. 
nipping, tucking, anywhere in the outfit, it just kind of drags her down. In the middle outfit, it's too loose. It's too unstructured. You don't get to see any of her, any of her body lost. She's just lost in there. And in the last outfit, you know, it's not bad, but <clears throat> she does seem a lot more muted in this type of outfit where, you know, you don't really get to see her form. There's not a lot of detail that pops up. Nothing really fun about it. It's a good incognito outfit, but it doesn't really speak to her very radiant nature. Um, some more outfits that Soft Gamin should try to avoid. Again, um, color blocking is your friend and wearing something that just doesn't have that staccato rhythm like in this dress over here tends to push you into one bulky piece. And I don't want to say bulky universally, but you will look bigger than you are because the soft bean does have that fleshiness when you don't wear the staccato lines you don't get the exaggeration of the curves to the angular body you just get a kind of blanket over it all so you don't get to catch on to the subtleties as much and they just don't get a chance to pop um, in this middle outfit it's again too loose no waist definition and it's just overall a bit too large Top and bottom are just too large on her. And in the last one, it's just too loose. It's overwhelming and it's too minimal. There's nothing fun about it. There's nothing sassy. There's nothing form-fitting. There's nothing really well tailored about it. It's very, very casual. It would look great on someone taller with a bit more the rawness and length, but on the soft gamine, they get lost in this kind of outfit. So getting away from all of that, let's look at some more fun, successful outfits. And just remember, you don't have to make every outfit absolutely perfect. Just dress in a way that honors your lines, honors your your personality, your, your lifestyle, your colors, and dress for whatever you want to do. And you don't really need to reach for total perfection and total adherence to guidelines that you may read because then you'll be dressing in a way that is really true to you and where you're at and where you want to be so going on ahead with this i love her use of color of prints here um in this one i don't know if it's just the way that she's moving but it brings to mind a scallop trim which looks beautiful on soft it means it's so rounded and yet tailored the soft gamine in a trim, I would say. It's beautiful, um, this top that she has on. Yes, it's simple, but it has a wonderful shape. It opens up well um, at the bottom and the shoulders are well fitted. She gives herself enough room um, and the pop of color of the pink and she still gets that color blocking. The shirt is never too um, long in in these photos <laughs> so um here is another perfect color blocking scheme the pink and the white look amazing on her great detail cute little um collar waist definition cute accessories and she's just smiling and she just looks so buoyant here adorable shoes adorable shoes um the top Lots of fun, little polka dots, nice bright color, and the pants are well cut. They do not drag her down. They're very fitted to her without being skin tight and overly clingy, and she doesn't need to roll them up. They're the perfect length. And some might say that these bags are too big, but I think it's kind of cute when very petite ladies wear larger bags. It kind of just exaggerates their smallness, and it says that they really embrace it. So here are some longer skirts um, they're all quite similar here and they still have that <clears throat> playful opening up. There may be pleats in there that really appeals to the more yang side of the gamine, that, that structure, those very structured details. Um, 
And we also get these beautiful volumes on the sleeves here, the voluminous ruffles here, waist definition throughout, color blocking here, fun print here. And obviously, she's been cut in half. This dress doesn't try to box her into one long shape. It does a pretty good job of depicting her top and bottom. And then here, again, the waist emphasis does a good job of cutting her in half. And the top and bottom are so different that you do get that staccato rhythm, especially when you mix it with these really fun bright heels. So on this page, I just want to really emphasize detail, fun little prints, fun detail it can really lift an entire outfit. These are relatively simple outfits. You know, this one is just a skirt and a top, but the tops, print and color really make it pop here. If she wasn't wearing this fun shirt underneath, it would not be as much of a characteristic outfit. You know, it wouldn't really speak to her character. And in this one, you know, the top is just so fun. It's that very carefree, but still tailored, tucked in, very bubbly type of off-shoulder summer top. It's a boho without being too loose and flowy. And, you know, these shoes are just adorable. All of her shoes are pretty adorable. Um, here are some, let's see, some pants. <clears throat> and yes, this one, not too much color blocking going on, but she still manages to look very vibrant and playful in it because she picks such a fun and, you know, kind of quirky print on this, this blouse that she has here. And she pairs it with these fun heels so it doesn't get weighed down. She keeps the emphasis upwards, especially with her bright bag. Here, also fun lifting up the eye with the very, you know, contrasting top and jacket. Um, and then she ties it all together with these fun pink heels. And here, it's subtle, but that printed button up underneath breaks her outfit into staccato lines, adds liveliness, adds fun, adds color. Just these little touches um, really, really speak tons about who she is, how she likes to dress. And here, just, I really want to hone in on the essence, the feeling of her various outfits. It's very fresh, it's spirited, it's lively, it's innocent, it's fun. She's like a glass of champagne with raspberries floating in it, maybe a spritz of lemon to, to finish it off. She's just so springy and fresh, and I wouldn't say ethereal, but there's something almost magical and whimsical about the way that she carries herself and the way that her clothes look on her. So I hope that helps you think about how you like to present yourself and you know, it's fun to look at people who have a very developed sense of personal style and um, by studying them, we can pick up on, you know, what they're doing right and we can apply it to our own wardrobe. So I'll see you in the next video and um, let me know what you think. Bye.